Good evening. Good evining Vietnam. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Ay, no, decía good morning Vietnam. <laughs> I love I like him. The... <laughs> I love him. I I cried. I cried when yes. he died. I mean, yes. oh, I got my childhood. It was amazing. <laughs> okay. How was your weekend? Okay. How is cold? How's the cold? Is COVID. The COVID is getting there. Okay. I, I, it's just, uh, I'm always tired, you know, and I, I don't like that. I don't like that because I'm very hyper. <laughs> Since I was a kid. No with, battery. Yeah, with this sickness, I'm like, wow. I do, mm -hmm. I, I try, for example, today I mm -hmm. taught. I taught from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. A live class, man, two hours. And and when I <laughs> when I came back home, when I came back home, I was dying. I I, I couldn't speak. I couldn't move. Oh my god. <laughs> Only sleep. Yeah, I, and 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 I feel awful. After sleeping, I feel awful. You know what is awful? Awful? Who is awful? No, a situation, honey, is awful. Ah, awful. I, ah. You, you, your body, I, my body felt awful. You know, ah, I, okay. I couldn't stand it. Okay. Well, I'm sorry for you. Yeah, but I'm, I, I'll get, I'll get the hand of it. How, how about you? How, how, how are you feeling today? Oh, my weekend was too short. I have a cold. Well, really? I'm sorry for me. Good evening. <laughs> Good, evening Good evening, guys. Everyone. <laughs> it's raining a lot in Tlatemango City. Oh my God. It's good. So, and... you didn't go to the beach? No. Elvis, no beach. There's no wow. beach in Chalatenango, but you're close to where? Sonsonate? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Chalatenango. <laughs> where do you go? Where do you go when you want to go to the beach, Elvis? El Puerto or, or Sonsonate? Chalatenango. Yeah, what's closer to Chalatenango? El Puerto or Sonsonate? <laughs> Department de Chalatenango. I oh know. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the beach. I'm talking about the beach. Which beach is closer to Chalatenango? Anything? Anything? No one. Oh, none. 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 Oh, really? Wow. That's sad. <laughs> so, what do you do to have fun? Only mountain. Just mountain. Yeah. Oh, but you you have wait the Rio Olympia, Rio Olympia. Okay. El Pital. El Pital. Come on, that's cold weather. That's beautiful weather. <laughs> Holy mother. Poor you. Good evening. Agua fría. Okay. So the border, the border, the the where or Pital. You're you're close to the border with um Honduras, right? Yes. And oh my god, anyways, but well, let's talk about something positive. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Last weekend, I woke up on Saturday at 6 a.m. I wanted to go with my friends to have breakfast to an unusual place, so we thought with my friend Johnny, you know Johnny Dip. I called Johnny and say, hey, you know what? Do you want to go to Paris? He was like, maybe, maybe. Well, let's call Angelina, okay? And he called Angelina and you know, she said like, okay, let's go to Paris. We went to Paris and guess what? Brad, Brad was in Paris. 
Oh man. The dreams. And Angel you dream? No, no, no. And Angelina, <laughs> Angelina was upset the whole breakfast. So we took my jet back to San Salvador. They dropped me. They dropped me off in San Salvador, and they flew to New York because I they had to act, you know, in some movie. So I called Tom. I called Tom, Tom Cruise. And he wow. was yeah, so, we, yeah. my favorite actors. We we had some something for, for lunch. Yeah. We talked about some business and he left. Um, he ate some gallina here in Salvador. Tom Cruise loves gallina. <laughs> Mondongo. Yeah. Some yeah. Mondongo. <laughs> Are you so, okay? Yeah. And after that, um <laughs> what the hell have you taken? In the afternoon, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I started playing Nintendo you with my favor. kids. And that's what I did on, on Saturday. On Sunday, I just rested the whole day and worked on some projects, but that's all I did. What about you? What did you do during the weekend? Oh my God. Make it up, make it up. You travel in Paris? You like it, Paris? I like Paris, yes, I guess. Sorry, <laughs> Hey, come on, guys. Make it <laughs> up. Make it up. Make it up. It's, <gasps> oh, it's not invented, okay? You don't say invented. No. You say make it up, okay? So I'm going to split you in groups. Ask your classmate, hey, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Don't go like, oh, I worked from 8 a.m. to to 5 p.m. And I ate some pupusas. Then I went to bed. Uh, that's boring, right? No. Make it up. You have a million dollars, okay? You have a million dollars. You are rich, okay? You are Mariah Carey. You are Katy Perry. You are Juan Gabriel, whatever you want to be. Just invent it, okay? <laughs> Make it up. Got it? How boring. <laughs> okay. Be be become someone else. That's the point. Let's do it, okay? Five minutes. Talk, 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 talk. Voy a elegir tres víctimas de españoles. Let's go. What did you do last weekend? Let's go. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Santiago. Hey, Santiago, we cannot hear you. Turn on your microphones. Jasmine, turn on your camera, turn on your microphone. And now, teacher. Hello, teacher. There you go. Okay. Okay, Brian, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to ask you, Santiago, uh, what did you do last week? Well, let me see. I went to the movies. Ah, uh, okay. 
And you? What do you did? The last uh, weekend. I, I did my homework and I was I was very busy in my really? job and my house. Okay. Edgardo. Ajá, compañero Edgardo. Hágale la pregunta. Edgardo, can you hear me? No? I think Eduardo doesn't have a... Yeah, he doesn't have a microphone, maybe. Okay, continue, return the question. Practice again. Okay. With Jasmine, maybe? Come on. Vaya, siga, siga. Ah, English. Ahí está. <laughs> siga. <laughs> you are nervous. Siga. Take it easy. Continue your information. Karen Suleima Ceseña de García. And Sunday I Apaga went. Apaga el micrófono, teacher. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> la marre, la... Okay. Oh. <laughs> Calladita la miraba ahí, va, Ticha. Ah, it's okay, that's okay. Keep ya going. Está conociendo. <laughs> y la respuesta, ¿cómo sería, Ticha? Uh -huh. Ahí, o sea, ahí inventada de parte de nosotros. Es la, Ese es el weekend. punto, ocupar el pasado simple. Lo que hice, acuérdense, sujeto, el verbo en pasado. Y el complemento, solo son tres cosas. Solo son tres cosas. Come on. Vamos, Karen. Yo les dije, last weekend I worked a lot. En Sunday I went to Pueblo Viejo in Aguachapan. Right. I, I went this with, my, with my family in something. Let's continue. Uh, then I I went to cinema. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Ver. Watch. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> oh, look. I watch. I oh, watch. Me. I watch it. I watch it. Watch it. Oh, love and thunder. I watch La Tora. I watch La Tora. <laughs> Why La Tora? Tora. <laughs> not La Tor. I mean, it's, I don't know. Do you like movie The Tor? Yeah. I haven't seen the movie, but I guess it's <laughs> good. Hey, Reina, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Uh, <laughs> on Saturday, I uh, work. Uh, no sé cómo se dice hasta las. Trabajé hasta las doce y media. Worker. And worked. Worker. I worked until. Uh, I worked. I worked. I worked until twelve thirty. Uh -huh. I worked. I worked. worked until twelve thirty. Please. <laughs> what did you do last weekend? Last Monday, I went to Miami with my friends. 
on Thursday, when went to Las Vegas with my family. On Wednesday, we returned to El Salvador and Sunday, we went to cinema to see the movie called. Yeah, very good. We went, we went, we went, we went. Much of we went. Yeah. But it's okay. No te equivocaste en nada. Super bien. Okay. César. That's the point. Ya se está acomodando. César, el sueño tiene. A ver, César. What did, you, what did you last weekend? What did you do? What did, what you, did you do, do last, last weekend? weekend? Uh, se me salió de la reunión, dice. Estaba en el, en el room 1, pero ya terminó todo. Yeah, ya terminamos la, la, yeah, ya terminamos los grupos. The breakout. Yeah, los breakout. breakout rooms. Very good. Ya los terminamos. Ahorita volvemos. Hey, Francis. I have a question about auxiliary, auxiliary verb and the verb complement. O sea, en la plataforma estaba viendo de que se usa la. No sé si estoy confundida, pero se usa el auxiliar verb. Pero cuando la acción se realizó, el verbo cambiaba la, la estructura, me parece. No, me y si no se realizaba, se mantenía. Mira que bien barrido y arreglado, que tiene un gran más. Claro. Perdón, Francis. Eh, cuando, cuando el auxiliar es did, cuando estoy hablando en pasado. Sí. Sí, eh, no, el verbo vuelve a su forma base en negativa y en pregunta. Solo en afirmaciones, ¿sí? Ah. Lo voy a modificar al pasado. Ah, ya. Uh -huh. Solo en afirmaciones sí. modifico el verbo. Eh, ¿Por qué? Lo mismo que ocurría con la tercera persona en el presente ocurre en el pasado. El, cuando el auxiliar está presente, es decir, negativas y preguntas, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Hay una excepción a esa regla y es el uso de los pronombres indefinidos como who. ¿Ok? Para hacer una pregunta con who. Who worked? Okay? Who worked the weekend? Who worked the weekend? Who talked to you? Pesado. Who talked to you? Who told you? told you. Ok. Ahí violo la regla y en lugar de ocupar el auxiliar did modifico el verbo de un solo. Who told you? Who, who sí, sí, y hay unas palabras que se pueden utilizar también con what de esta misma forma. What. Con what? Sí. Yo, sí, yo what, happened? Las what happened? What mm -hmm. happened? <laughs> WhatsApp. Porque ambas, ambas doble H question representan ya sea una cosa o una persona. Correcto, cuando es um, correcto, cuando, cuando la WH representa un objeto o una persona y es algo indefinido. What happened? Um, Man, I can uh, what, what, what? Ah, can't think of any other example right now. Okay, who worked the weekend? Este, este es lo más claro, el who. Eh, what happened? What ran out? Oh, what ran out? 
una forma rara de preguntar qué se acabó. What run out? Or right now. What run out? What run out? What run out? Run out como que rapidito, va, rapidito, run out. Mm -mm -mm. Run out. It's a oh, phrase. So it's, a, it's a phrasal verb. Run out. Ah, oh, okay. I'm running out of gas. I ran out of gas. Okay. Run out. Corre, quedarse sin. Eh, I run out of money every 15th. Mm. Me quedo sin pisto cada 15. <laughs> A cada primero. <laughs> Solo lo veo pasar. <laughs> I That's see you. Oh, bye. <laughs> yeah. I run out of money. Okay. To run out. Eso es algo adicional, eh. Busquen verbos frasales. Son muy utilizados. Cuando ves deportado y hablas con un deportado, no es que él hable wow. ¿verdad? O que no se le entienda lo que dice tan rápido que habla. No, simplemente ocupa muchos verbos frasales, por ejemplo. Y solo aclarando a tiempo, un verbo frasal. Debería de ser algo lógico, ¿eh? Un verbo frasal se modifica el verbo. ¿Ok? Se modifica el verbo. Un verbo frasal está compuesto por un verbo y una preposición, ¿verdad? Entonces, si lo vas a conjugar en cualquier tiempo, gramatical, futuro, pasado, el que se va a ver afectado por esa modificación, va a ser el verbo. Es lógico, pero hay que aclararlo, ¿ok? okay. She stood up. Es por eso que ni se les entiende a los que vienen, ¿no? Y ellos que tratando de alucinar y realmente es un inglés muy mal, muy mal hablado. Eh, sí, es, es, como es como caliche, pero el inglés nativo al final. O inglés de negro. Ajá, sí, porque uh -huh. mi mamá tiene 33 años de estar allá y a veces dice, they was, they was talking to me. Ok. Yo como, eh, mami, <risa> they, they were. What, mami? <risa> Así hablamos allá, me dice, ay. Anyways, but hello, mommy. Okay, so <laughs> let's continue. Uh, we have a conversation on your WhatsApp, but hold on. Before that, I have a question for Lily. Lily, what's your favorite color? Um, pink. Pink. Oh, purple, purple. Purple, purple rain. Purple rain. Nothing. <laughs> purple rain. Purple curtains. <laughs> oh, I'll be sorry. Purple, Thank you, Lily. Purple curtains. Thank you, Lily. Yeah. You're welcome. Sorry, sorry. purple curtains. Okay, uh, let me figure this out. Okay, yeah, let's answer the question and all this. What did you do last weekend? Um. Uh, on Saturday, uh, I sleep uh, until 7 a.m. I love uh, sleep late. Uh, then uh, I went to work until noon. Uh, then uh, I come to my house to have uh, lunch. And then I watch the movie with my family. Movie of Disney Plus. <laughs> caricatura, no sé cómo dice caricatura. Mm. Cartoon? <clears throat> Cartoons. Cartoon, yes. For my daughter. An animated movie. Anime movie. Okay. Um, too late. Uh, I went to dine dinner. A restaurant with my family. Uh, I ate uh, meat. My wife too. And my daughter ate a... Uh, uh, Finger cheese. 
it's an idea. And then uh, come back to house and sleep to nine, 10, more or less. Okay. Excellent, Nati. Great job, Elvis. Let's talk about your areas of improvement. Um, and remember, past, it's all the verbs in past if we speak in past, okay? Uh, si digo afirmaciones, todos los verbos van a ir en pasado. Y ahí es donde hay que enfocarse ahorita. Pasado. I slept, right? Sleep, slept. Algo que puede ocurrirles es ocupar de muletí el verbo went. ¿Ya? Porque es una trampita ahí inconscientemente, creo que les ocurre empezar a decir, I went to work, I went to my job, and then I went to visit my family, I went to go to the beach, dicen todavía. <ríe> Porque después de went to, viene el verbo en su forma base. Ah, oh, ya. Un atajo. Es un atajo, trampa. Ok, <ríe> so, hey, I come, I came. I came, uh -huh. I came home, I came home. Una cosa, traten de ocupar home como un nombre propio. No le pongan artículos antes. I came to my house, to my home. No, I came home. I went back home. Where are you going? I'm going home. Where are you? I'm home. Yeah? I'm in the house. I'm in my house. I'm in her house. Got it? Got it. Okay. I watching the movie with my family. I saw a movie with my family. I watched. I watched a movie watched. with my family. Yep. And no squat. se puede decir watch it. Uy, no. De hecho, he estado revisando la plataforma y no veo en la unidad 2. Esperaría yo que en la unidad 3 esté la pronunciación de los verbos regulares hay tres pronunciaciones de ed y no está so vamos a tener que le voy a hacer un videito corto sobre las tres reglas de pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado todos los verbos regulares terminan en ed ok pero hay tres pronunciaciones de esa ed Okay, que hay que aprenderse para poder pronunciar bien los verbos regulares en pasado, ¿ok? Como ese, worked, worked, ¿ok? Act, no, acted, acted, saved. Ahí ya vimos las tres pronunciaciones. So, vamos a trabajar en eso. Les voy a enviar un video corto para explicarles y ustedes puedan moverse en ese sentido. Es bien sencillo, ¿ok? Así es siempre. No, es fácil. Okay, really. Okay. Let's go. Uh, I watched a movie with my family. I went to dinner, a restaurant with my family. Literal. Fui a comer un restaurante con mi familia. ¿Qué falta ahí? Una preposición te puede cambiar por completo el sentido y un gringo se puede quedar como fui a cenar un restaurante con mi familia. Se comió un restaurante este señor. Faltó el tú. <ríe> Esa preposición tú. Ok. I went to have dinner. I went to have dinner to a restaurant with my family. Bien. Okay. Eso me llegó que dijo I had met. I had met my wife too. Me llegó. I had met my wife too. My daughter had cheesy fingers. My daughter had cheesy fingers. Dedos quesosos. Dedos llenos de queso. Cheese fingers or cheesy fingers. Okay. Then we came back home. Then we came back home. ¿Ves qué fácil? Then we came back home. And that's it. And that's about it. Okay. Easy, guys. Easy, easy. So practice that question porque se la voy a estar haciendo toda la semana, ¿ok? Y todos los días voy a estar agarrando a alguien diferente para que me conteste, ¿ok? Got it? Oh. I got it. Got it. Got it. Ok. 
Okay, so let's listen and then we practice together, okay? Listen, one, two, three. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. We had a we had a great time. Lucky you. Lucky you. That's lucky you. How long were you there? How long were you there? How long were you there? About a week. About a week. About a week. Fantastic. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Not really. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. But we went surfing. Surfing every day. The waves were amazing. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Well, something incredible, incredible happened. Happened. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. And I need two volunteers. Elvis, ah, oh, come on, Elvis, someone else. Okay. Cesar, Cesar and Francis Irela. Excellent. One, two, three, go. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had we had we had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? No, really. It was cloudy most of the time, but. We went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, sometimes incredible happened. Happened. You won't believe believe it. <laughs> Good, okay. Repeat cousin. Cosin. 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 There you go. Cosin. Solo Cossing. quita la U, quita la U nada más. Cosin. Cosin. There you go. Cosin. Weather. 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 Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Okay. Cloudy. Esa D Cla se lee como R porque está entre dos vocales. Cloudy. Cloudy. Y sí. Uh -huh. Ojo, surfing. Se lee como una surfing. E, la U. Surfing. Sur surfing. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo hay que suavizar la R. Yeah. Surfing. 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 There you go. Something. Something. Ah, uh, ok. Something. Vaya. Una cosa, chicos, la TH siempre va a sonar a Z. Something. So, sorry. La TH siempre va a sonar a Z. So, something. Something. Uh, something. something. Ahí estás. Something. Incredible. Incredible. Vuelvo a lo, a lo anterior. Uh -huh. Esta D está entre dos vocales. 
Suena una R. Incredible. Incredible. Ahí estás. Perfecto. Incredible. Incredible. Ok. Incredible. Happened. Happens. Muy bien. Happened. Happens. Ahí está. Esta va a sonar. Este ED suena a una D de dedo. La E es muda y aquí hay una D de dedo fuerte. Happened. Happened. Perfect. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Muy bien. Excelente. Y por último, esta it no suena it porque no es un sujeto, es un objeto. Cuando está al final ese it suena a et, et, et. Ok. You won't, you won't believe it. You won't believe it. Okay. Good. Okay. Let's practice really quick. We only have five minutes for this exercise. Esta conversación está en su WhatsApp. Vamos a practicar solamente cinco, máximo de diez minutos. Regresamos para hablar del pasado del verbo to be, señores. Super fácil. Okay. Teacher, es que miren, nadie que me contesta. Hey, miren, porfa, enciendan sus cámaras uno y dos. No se desconecten, ¿ok? Ahí quédense, yo sé, le falla el internet. Pero no, hombre, ayúdenle a su compañero, no lo dejen hablando solo. Como que está loquito, pobrecito, no. ¿Ok? Come on, let's do it. Hi girls. Hello. Hi girls. Hello. Hi, good night. Good one. Start. ¿Quién quiere empezar? Volunteer. Hilma, usted y yo. Let's go. Ok. Y me está fallando el internet. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Microphone. Okay, look at you. How how long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. We were Amazon. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Eh, vaya, si gustan, yo, yo, yo un voluntario, ¿quién más quiere platicar? Yo, yo sería involuntaria también. Compartir la pantalla, porque yo lo tengo, estoy conectada en otro aparato y no tengo la imagen. Yo en el teléfono la tengo. Eh, Isabu, you, are, uh, you will be Celia and I will be Don. Ok. Um, hi, Don. How was the vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Look at you. How long were you there? Uh, about a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the, of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best things about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. 
you won't believe it. Somebody else? No sé quién está compartiendo ahí pantalla. You won't believe it. Ok. okay. Ahora iría Oye. yo con quién. Pueden hacerlo las dos y luego yo con, con el mismo. Si gusta, yo le ayudo. Vean, ok. Este, voy a hacer, no. perdón. Sería Celia. Yes. Ok. He don't how was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. That great time. Look you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cozy most of the time. But mm -hmm. we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about that trip? Well, something incredible, incredible is happening. You won't believe it. Okay. Okay. Yo puedo, yo puedo ser okay. Ah, que empiece. Que empiece. Hi, Don. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We have a great time. You think you have looked where to there? About a week. Fantastic. Was there, was there okay? No, really. It was clouding most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what, what say Bex? Something, Bex? Something about their tweets? About? About tweets. Well, Sometimes incredible Something. happen. You won't believe it. Believe it. Okay. It. Um, let's listen to the audio. Vamos a escuchar esa grabación, okay? Y repetir, repetir. Escuchar y repetir. Escuchar y repetir. Para adecuarnos a la, a la pronunciación. Um, decía vacation. Vacation. How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Okay. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. Solo quito la U. Cousin. Cousin. I had, we had a great time. We had a great time. We had a great time. Better. Uh -huh. Lucky you. Lucky you. How? Lucky you. Lucky you. How long were you there? <laughs> How were you, Lucky you? <laughs> Lucky you, cabal. How long were you there? How long were you there? About a week. About a week. Miren, con solo que se graben esto de que la T o la D entre dos vocales, ya van a poder pronunciar las cosas bien rápido. ¿Sí? Mira, we had a great time. We had a, we had a great time. Luego decía... About a week. About a week. About, about a week. About a week. About a week. Perfect. Ahí estás. 
Ok, ok. Que... okay. Let's go back. Ok, lo, que... okay loquillo. <risa> Órale. <risa> loquillo. De ahí viene. Loquillo. Hmm. Órale. Ok, let's go back. <risa> Not enough time for all that I want from you. Not enough time. Every kiss. Let me just see how I am happy. Okay, really quick. Hello. What's happening, teacher? Hello. Bien, eh, esto de el, vamos a ver el verbo to be de nuevo. What? Okay. Eh, si recuerdan el verbo to be. Lo que vamos a ver ahorita no les va a costar. ¿Okay? ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda con el verbo to be todavía? Hello. Desde la high school. No. Son bromas, teacher. No, 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 no. no que sí, hey, tiene... teacher, hoy, hoy no entró Iris. De verdad, no sé quién es Iris. Pero... Iris, la niña que aparece en un círculo. Hmm. Okay. Mm, I okay. don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Recuerden que solo llevo una semana. <laughs> <laughs> solo llevo una semana con ustedes. Sorry. Okay. Hey. Eh, bien. Verbo to be. Ser o estar. Nada más. Okay. Ser o estar. Yo soy feliz. Cuando estaba soltero. Ahora. Ahora, very happy. Como no lo están oyendo. Ahora está más feliz. Tan fácil como esto, miren. Dormirá solo. Mira qué fácil, qué fácil. ¿Ves lo que estoy diciendo? Ok. Tan fácil como eso. Entonces, ya... Ok, so... Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Aquí ya puedo contactar. Ok. Why was I happy? ¿Nota la diferencia? Sí. Es decir, was se ocupa para singulares. Ok. Was es am e is. Ok. Y where se convierte en are. Okay. Okay. Así de fácil, míralo. Hagamos un ejemplo más ahora explicando eh, con segundas personas. Okay. Así como lo hice arriba. ¿Quién, quién, me, quién, me lo, ¿Quién se lo echa? Como decimos. Uh -huh. You are happy. Ok, muy difícil. You are happy. Chivo. You negative. You are Everybody. Happy. You're happy, ok. Oh, are you happy? Are you happy? Happy. Ok, ¿y cómo contesto? Yes. I am I am happy. Uh, yeah, digamos, yes, 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 you are. Para cambiar el ejemplo. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 
ojo con la gramática en esta cosa tan pequeña ¿eh? de las respuestas a las preguntas abiertas cerradas yes you are no no, no you aren't no you aren't procuren contractuar en las negativas you Uy. aren't you aren't ok uh, why are you <coughs> vaya chivo Let's move it to simple past. Right? So, en lugar de are, voy a poner where. Help me. Where aren't. Ahí estás. Es exactamente lo mismo. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? ¿Alguien tiene duda alguna con este tiempo gramatical, el pasado del verbo to be? Ojo, sin acciones. No estamos hablando de acciones. Estamos volviendo al verbo to be. Lo primero que viste en básico 1. Questions. Teacher. Hey. Contraction and negative. Contractions in negative. Very good. Así como están ahí. Same thing. Okay. Tengo wasn't y weren't. Weren't. Yep. Here you go. You have wasn't and weren't. Comparar es lo único que te pido. Así como aplicabas el verbo to be en el presente simple, los puedes aplicar en el pasado. Okay, Una ahora. pregunta, teacher. Yep. En el caso del cuando usamos el did, lo usamos nada más cuando vamos a, a hablar de, de algo que se está realizando. Acciones. Acciones. Acciones, correcto. Ajá, por, por la parte esta del was y del were, solo lo, lo utilizamos en el cuando hablamos de de lo que yo fui. Okay. Uh -huh. O cómo me sentí. Estuve. Estuve. Okay. Karen. O oh, estuve también. Mm, estuve feliz. How do you say estuve casado? I was, I was married. married. I was married. I have a question. Ya me morí. Ah, momento, eh, quiero decir que cuando me casé, tenía 27 años. How do you say tenía 27 años en past? I was 27 years old. Cuidado con eso, eh. No es I had o I had. Se nos mata en el chucho tiempo. Sí, se ocupa el verbo to be para decir la edad. Ok. Any other question? Ok, tú eras mi vecino. Translate. You, 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 were, were, you, were, my you were my neighbor. You were my neighbor. <laughs> Easy. Ok. Uh, yo estaba enamorado de tu prima. What? I was love. Uh, I was in love with I your cousin. I was in love with your cousin. Easy, right? I was in love with your cousin. Ves que fácil. Um, tú eras muy inteligente. You are, you are very intelligent. Uy, uy. ¿Cómo que are? You were very you were intelligent. Very, you were. You were very intelligent. Very intelligent. There you go. Ahí está todo en el WhatsApp. I'm pretty. Ok. Ok. Easy. As easy as cheese. Questions. Eso es una cosa bien sencilla de explicar. El pasado del verbo to be es lo mismo que el verbo to be en presente. 
Just be careful, solo tengan cuidado de no equivocarse, eh? So, de nuevo, sería, I, he, she, it, was. We, you, they, were. No, I, he, she, it, was. We, you, they, were. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going to play something. Mañana vamos a jugar a algo. Es más, intentámoslo ahorita. Tengo, y lo voy a hacer rápido, tengo un... Ah, oh, soy, ahorita yo me convierto en un personaje ficticio. Puedo ser una caricatura, un ser humano, puedo ser hombre, puedo ser mujer, lo que sea. Pero ya me morí. Ya estoy muerto. Entonces solo puedes preguntar una cosa. Por ejemplo... Man? Where you... Amen. No, I wasn't. Vamos todos. Were you, were you, were you, were you, were you? Were you, you, woman? Were you... Were you a, a woman? No, I wasn't. Were you, uh, were you a animals? dog? Were you a dog? Yes. No, no, I wasn't. Were you animal? Are you, were you an animal? animal? Were you an animal? Yes, I was. You are a bad Parrot. Were you were you a parrot? No. The turtle. Were you a rabbit? Were you a cat? Were you a rabbit? No, I no, I wasn't a cat. Were no. you a lion? Uh, were you a lion? No. A turtle? Were you a turtle? No. Were you a wolf? Yes, I was. Monkey? Wolf. <laughs> Wolf. Ah, I, 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 wolf. No, no, no. He said a mouse. I was a mouse. Ya van a estar los frijoles, creo. Okay, <laughs> no, uh, están cociendo la máquina. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so I was a mouse. You're a mouse? Mickey Mouse? Were you Mickey Mouse? Yes, from the 50s. Oh I was God. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Easy, right? Uh, let's go with Karen Sulema. You can only say, yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. No, I that wasn't. That sounds like a lot of fun. Ready, Karen? Okay. Okay. Go ahead, guys. Eh, eh, a, a cualquiera. No, no, no. Nosotros te tenemos que adivinar a ti. Ya está muerta uh -huh. la niña. You were queens. Were you a queen? Were you a queen? Eh, yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh -huh. Estoy muerta, perdón. <laughs> were you a princess? Were you a princess? Yes, I was. Hmm. <laughs> were you a children? Huh? Were you a... Wait, 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 wait. Were you a children? Were you a child? A children. Mm, pero, right. pensemos, pensemos. A eh, child. Were you a child? Eras una niña o un niño? A child. Eras una niña? Were you a child? No, I wasn't. Hmm. Ah, era, perdón. I was. I was <laughs> One minute, hurry up. Were you a ballet dancer? A belly dancer? Yes, I was. Were you an excellent student? Yes, I was. <laughs> Were you Jasmine? No están poniendo atención. Were you Jasmine? <laughs> Were you Jasmine? Ah, you had, you no, had powers? No, I, no, I no, I wasn't. I wasn't, perdón, perdón. No, I wasn't. Okay. Were you a Cindy Lern? Were you a Toxica? <laughs> no. I am <laughs> <a> Toxic. <laughs> Were you... Were you... Okay, were you Cinderella? No, I wasn't. Oh my God, and she was a princess. 
Bien, practiquen, <risa> practiquen esto, ¿eh? porque lo vamos a ocupar mañana, vamos a jugar mucho con esto al principio de la clase, preparen sus su personajes, ¿sí? el punto es adivinarle el personaje al compañero o a la compañera, ¿ya? Solo preguntándole qué nacionalidad, qué color de piel right. tenía, ¿ya? Teacher. Okay. Hey. I have a question. Yes, please, Jasmine. I was really married. I was married. You. Uh, what? Am I married? Sí. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> happy married. Oh, okay. Happily. I'm, I'm happily. Yeah, I'm happily married. Yeah. Bien contento, contesta. Oh, yeah. porque ahí está la esposa a la par. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't speak English. Uh, but yeah, we've been married for 14 years. 14 years. Or 14 years. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm okay. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye. Bless you. 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 Bless you.